You're watching Natural Medicine World and I'm Delian. Warren Dennis, Kenza Health, is an established leader in our industry and you have developed this huge range of products, a uh, probiotic range. Why a whole probiotic range? Hi Delian, yes, thank you very much. All health and wellness starts in the gut. The problem with probiotics on the market today is that they use a shotgun approach and that's just not good enough anymore. What we've realized is we need to put together a range of condition-specific probiotics. And using the latest research throughout the world, we have put this new range together. So Warren is a man on a mission. He's created this entire range of condition-specific probiotic supplementation. Let's ask a medical doctor if this is really necessary. Now that's definitely one of the other exciting parts of probiotic research, is now we're seeing that if you use specific strains of probiotics, bifidobacteria, um, whatever strain it is, um, how you can actually affect a particular condition because that particular strain of probiotic exerts more of an effect on a person in that particular area that you want it to work. And we're here with Dr. Anton. He's an integrative medical practitioner, Dr. Anton Janser van Rensburg, with a special interest in toxicology, heavy metal toxicology mm -hmm. and gut health. To optimize gut health and prevent ill health, where do we start? Deleen, gut health is so central to your daily health and in preventing future disease. You want to start on a daily basis with a product that has the right strains. So you, what you want to do is, is you want to utilize the newest research in specific strains that help the human body in all the different ways that probiotics help the human body so you want several of these specific strains in and one product in ideally. one product yes mm -hmm. and if you can combine that with at least one strain of spore biotics which for me is such an exciting field of research incredibly exciting if you can combine all of these together for a regular use probiotic you are going to do better on a daily basis and you are going to prevent illness. So you're building on top of your daily foundation probiotic multi-strain supplement, which is almost more important than yeah, multivitamin. It's, uh, for me, this is where you start. I mean, it's more important to, you know, than food. Yes, you still need the food, but I mean, if you have a, a healthy intestine, then the food that you eat, you're going to get so much more out of it. It's going to be digested properly. And um, absorbed properly. Ab absorbed properly. Mm. And you're going to get more benefit out of it. Then, yes, then you can consider taking a multi-nutrient with vitamins and minerals. But before you do that, make sure that you have an intestine that can utilize it. Apart from taking folic acid, what would you say is the most important supplement a pregnant woman should take? Dalian, I think that's, a, that's an easy answer for me, and that is a, a good probiotic. Um, before you decide on the folic acid, be before you decide on any multivitamin or anything else, you need to sort out your gut because that's where it starts. That's the center of your health, even if you're not pregnant, but now particularly because you're pregnant. So if you have a healthy gut, you're going to absorb the folic acid better. You're going to absorb your, your vitamins better. But the probiotics going to do so much for the mother because the probiotics actually produce vitamins. They produce amino acids. They produce digestive enzymes. So you're just going to have a healthier mother. Um, she's going to have less constipation. Um, she's going to get less urinary tract infections, which is a problem um, for people that, that are pregnant. Um, she, her risk for hypertension in pregnancy is going to be lower. This is proven scientific research. Um, and then uh, when it comes to diabetes and her glucose control, which is linked to weight gain, um, many times women think, you know, that they did something wrong because they, they picked up so much weight, but actually they had a, had a condition called dysbiosis. Now, dysbiosis is where your biome doesn't have the right bacteria. You, it's, it's, it's in disarray, you've got dysbiosis. Now, that's just for the mother. Now, while you are pregnant and you're taking the right strains of probiotic, now you need to take the right strains. So you can't pregnant. just go and take any probiotic No, no, no. Then you need to know that you're getting a viable product. You need to know that those strains specifically will help you during pregnancy. Dr. Anton, what are the natural solutions for candida, thrush, regular urinary tract infections? Mm. Deline, there's wonderful solutions for that, and it's back to the gut again. 
The same bacteria that colonize the gut are also going to colonize your vulva or your intruitus using the technical terms. This is where your vagina is situated, this is where your urethra or the, the opening of uh, your urinary canal, that's where they are situated. And you actually colonize, that whole area is colonized in a healthy person with healthy bacteria. And if you take the right, what we call peroxide producing organisms, let me just explain this quickly. So lactobacilli specifically mm. produce hydrogen peroxide. Which now, is a probiotic strain, quite a specific one. A specific one, yes. So if you take the specific strains of lactobacilli together and you take them, that's orally now, you will colonize your intuitus or your vulva with peroxide producing organisms that will reduce your risk for regular yeast infections, bacterial vaginosis, and regular urinary tract infections. Because now there's, there are organisms there that are actually doing the killing of the bad bacteria for you using hydrogen peroxide. So this is something you can take like a multivitamin every single day? You can take this ongoing. There's new research out on probiotic use for weight loss. Is this just another fad? No, Deline, this definitely is not a fad. I mean, you know, with all the discussions that we've had about how important the, the gut is. Um, so if you're struggling with weight loss, the place where you're putting your food probably should be the best place to start if you want to lose the weight. And what we've seen with people that struggle to lose weight or, the, or that have an abnormal weight gain, many times there's inflammation in the gut lining. And this is where specific strain bacteria really has a role to play. And one in particular is Bifidobacterium lactis B420, where they've studied this strain in human beings and they found that the, the, the reduction in inflammation is helping people to lose weight. But there's uh, several other mechanisms that are important here now. Um, the, probably the, one, of, one of them that's the most important as the inflammation is reducing insulin sensitivity. Uh -huh. Now most people know about insulin resistance, yes. their doctors tell them about it, and they just don't seem to get beyond that point. Mm. And this is where specific strain probiotics is gonna help these, these people, is where you get better insulin response in your body, you get better glucose control, but specific strains like this actually then have other things that they do. And particularly this strain, this Lactus B420 strain, helps your body to have other strains of bacteria, three in particular, that have all been linked to weight loss. If you have more of those strains, then you, you lose weight better. But Are now, you saying this produces the other strains? It supports the growth, promotes the growth and the proliferation of those strains in the intestine. So you're getting many for one. Right. You're taking one bacteria and you're getting all these other bacteria that are going to help you to now lose weight. But more than that, there's also an effect on bile acids that helps the person then in total. It's a holistic approach using a single strain or a specific strain bacteria then to lose weight. Would you say that's the foundation before you start looking at any other weight loss products? Yeah, no, absolutely. You need, you need to start. Your, your gut is the place you need to start. With your general health, that's where you start. With probiotics? Absolutely. Dr. Anton, why do athletes struggle with recurring respiratory tract infections? Deline, this is a very interesting question and it's something that's actually been well described in scientific literature. Um, and we see it at the Olympic Games and at big events where athletes actually train to get to this event and then they have this big letdown where they develop an upper respiratory tract infection. And this has to do with something called oxidative stress that takes place when people train, especially when they start training a bit harder. Um, and the oxidative stress then has an effect on the immune system, dampening the ability of the immune system to fight common infections. Then you add to that the, the, the inability of the intestine or the reduced ability of the intestine to absorb antioxidants. That's, that's where the probiotics come in again, right. you, where you start with the gut. And we, if you use specific strains of probiotics, you will enhance the absorption of antioxidants in the gut and help these athletes to get less of these infections. And it's nice to know that you're not only talking about antioxidants when you're talking about the role that probiotics play in the absorption of all our multivitamins yeah, and nutrients. Absolutely. So, so the food the athlete is going to eat, he's going to absorb the antioxidants better from there. 
So Dr. Anton, what can I do to prevent ill health as I age? It's very interesting about the gut in the aging person is your bacteria starts changing, your biome actually spontaneously due to aging starts changing. So you start to harbor more toxic bacteria and that can happen more or less around the age of 40. Um, I think it's possibly younger because right. when I see the patients today that I see, many of them have dysbiosis already from birth actually. Um, so I start my patients on a good multi-strain general probiotic on a regular basis, but as they get older, there is research that specific strains like Bifidobacterium lactis, specific lactis strains, actually um, perform this competitive exclusion of the bad bacteria a little bit better and just has that extra boost of the immune system in the older person. So I then add that as an extra strain. The statistics of heart conditions are alarming. What role mm. can probiotic play in heart health? So the first thing is if you don't have a good gut barrier function, you're going to have toxins that leak into your bloodstream that will negatively affect your heart, but also your cardiovascular system, your blood vessels. Now there's good research on specific strains of bacteria. There's particularly lactobacillus fermentum, where we are seeing that the, the, besides the fact that it lowers LDL cholesterol, which is actually ironically enough not the most important part, it actually reduces blood fats or triglycerides, which is way, way stronger predictor of heart disease, the triglycerides. So fermentum actually lowers the triglycerides and it increases HDL, the good cholesterol. Um, the other thing that the fermentum does is it reduces inflammation inside the blood vessel. Now this is important. If I have inflammation inside my blood vessel, I can have a cholesterol that's low, maybe four, I'm still in trouble. And the other thing that the fermentum, the lactobacillus fermentum does, is to reduce lipid oxidation. So I can have low levels of cholesterol. If I have lipid oxidation in my bloodstream, I'm in trouble with regards to heart disease. We all know how important it is to take a probiotic with your antibiotic. But I think, you know, at the same time, logic tells me, you know, the antibiotic is going to destroy the probiotic. How can we fix this problem? Oh, so, Dillian, that's, that is really a, a big problem. And uh, people like me who study the, the gut and the gut microbiome, I've seen research that shows that you can disturb your gut microbiome, something called dysbiosis. Um, and it can stay disturbed for as long as six months after a single course of broad spectrum antibiotics. There's even research that's saying up to three years, up to four years um, of disruption or dysbiosis in your intestine. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is using the newest spore biotic technology. Now, spore, spore biotics occur naturally in soil, and they have this very interesting mechanism where if they are derived of nutrients, they form spores with a protective biofilm to protect themselves. Now, this mechanism actually works very nicely now because on the shelf, your probiotic in spore form is going to survive. When it reaches the stomach, the stomach acids aren't going to destroy it. It's going to survive. But if you have to take an antibiotic, usually you now have to now, you know, do two hours later, you have to take the probiotic because the antibiotic is going to kill the probiotic as well. Mm. Now, your compliance is going to going to be so much better if you're a doctor or dentist or, you, or just a person taking an antibiotic, you can take them together. I must just say I'm very grateful that you share your knowledge and experience with us. And you've got a busy practice in treating really, really ill people, chronically ill people. What is your go-to protocol? Deline, my go-to protocol is always the gut. We have to start with the gut. Now, it doesn't matter if you're seeing someone that has a chronic illness or someone who has a family member with a chronic illness and they actually want to avoid that. So now we're talking about things like Alzheimer's, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, autoimmune conditions, which are also getting more and more. So probiotics, you're not just talking about balancing the microbiome, you know, when you've had an antibiotic, you're actually talking about treating conditions and repairing the gut lining. Absolutely, you, you're repairing the gut lining. You are activating the immune system in the right way. You are reducing inflammatory cytokines, bringing inflammation down in the gut, but also in the body in general. 